Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to download and install Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod in Minecraft 1.16.5 We're gonna be going over every single step of downloading the mod, installing the mod, and then even using the mod a little bit in game Showing you some of the cool furniture that you can add, all of that stuff But if you want to add couches and kitchen furniture and so much more and nightstands and tons of awesome stuff to Minecraft 1.16.5 Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod is the best furniture mod to do that with It is truly an amazing way to add furniture, it's super simple, super easy, and overall just a great Mod, and it comes from an awesome YouTuber in Mr. Crayfish. But first and most, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get your very own DNOS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod installed. You want to go to the second link down below first, and that's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for installing Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Some people say I go too fast in these videos, and thus we have these text tutorials for those who do want to do that. But nevertheless, once you're here, you just want to click on this yellow Download Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod button. They'll take you off to Curse Forge, which is also the official Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod basically download page. From here, come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. And then under that, you'll have the Furniture Mod. Now, as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.16 Furniture Mod there. And if you actually click on this orange download button, it will go ahead and start downloading after a few seconds in the bottom left. Here's the deal, though. If you download this, it's going to say 1.16.3 on it. That's okay. Even though this is a 1.16.3 mod, it's going to work in 1.16.5. So just be aware of that if you see 1.16.3 on this file and think this isn't going to work. I promise it's going to work. It's going to be the exact same on my file. But we will need to keep it in the bottom left on Google Chrome and save it in the center of our screen on Mozilla Firefox. Over 19.4 million people have downloaded Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, so I'm pretty sure it's safe. We aren't done downloading just yet, though. We still need to go to this link, which is going to be the third link down below. And this is going to be our in-depth Forge tutorial for 1.16.5. While we're going to be going over the basics in this video, if you do have any issues, come here and we will help you out and basically go more in-depth with it. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down the page a little bit and click on this green Download Forge button. When you click on that, it's going to go ahead and take you off to Forge's official website here, where we want to make sure MC 1.16.5 shows here. As we can see, it does not, so to make it appear, we want to come over here to the left-hand side, make sure 1.16 is selected, and then make sure 1.16.5 is selected. Then finally, it says MC 1.16.5 here, so we want to come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. That then takes us off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. I repeat, do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button in the top right. That's the only thing you want to skip is that red skip button in the top right. And when you click on that, it will download Forge in the bottom left. As long as the title has Forge and then 1.16.5 in the title, you're going to go ahead and click Keep in the bottom left of your screen. And Mozilla Firefox, same thing. As long as it says Forge 1.16.5 in your title, you're good to save it in the center of your screen. Now finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. In our desktop, we have Forge and we have the Furniture Mod, which is called Furniture. And as I said, it says 1.16.3, but it's going to work in 1.16.5. I promise. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click the little Windows icon that's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left. Then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads folder. That's the wrong downloads folder, actually. You have this downloads folder, file folder in Windows. Click on that, and then in here you will find the mods you want to install. Drag and drop them into your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Forge. To do that, you want to go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, Click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Or I do have Java and my files don't look like your files. They look weird. They look different. What do I do? Well, in that case, you need to go to the description down below and download this. This is Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Mr. Craven's Furniture Mod is a Minecraft mod, so we need to get this downloaded. It goes through everything here in this tutorial. Pretty simple, pretty easy. After you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge with Java. If you do still have issues, though, you can run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and make them work with Java once again. Basically, if your files don't look like my files, that's how you can fix that. Now, finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Again, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Mod System Installer for Forge, where you want to click on Install Client, and then click OK. It's then going to download, set up, do some things, make some things work, 
add Forge to Minecraft, set it up, allow you to play, all that stuff. It's happening right now. It's going through and it's basically downloading Forge. And now it's successfully installed Client Profile Forge for 1.16.5. We can go and click OK, close out of that. You can remove Forge from your desktop if you want. Now though, we need to get Furniture or Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod installed. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. And before you go ahead and hit the play button, hold your horse's speed racer, all right? We need to make sure we have the correct version selected. Now for me, Forge is automatically selected there. As long as it has 1.16.5 Dash Forge under it, you're gonna go ahead and click play. If you don't have Forge selected here, click on this little arrow and find it in this list. If you don't have it in this list though, what do you do? Well, in that case, you wanna click on installations up here at the top. And then you wanna come over here to the right hand side and make sure all of these are checked. Snapshots, historical, and modded. And when you click all of those, you probably have Forge appear. If it still doesn't appear though, here's what you do. Go ahead and click on this plus new button, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible 1.16.5 grief protected survival server, as well as our amazing custom skyblock server. Green Protected Survival, 30 custom quests, player-based economy on the Meet Evil Survival server, and our Aquatic Survival server has an amazing slash shop-based economy with MCMO and so much awesome other stuff. Our Skyblock is truly custom with an in-depth storyline, custom challenges, amazing minions, and so much more. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for versions, we're going to go ahead and click on this version drop-down box. We want to scroll down until we find at least 1.16.5-Forge. Mine's right up here towards the top, but you may have to scroll all the way to the bottom to find yours. Mine, though, like I said, is right up here. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to change our resolution just so we can see better once we get in game. We are making a video after all. And then you can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this new profile, in my case, called play.breakdowncraft.com. Most importantly, though, it has 1.16.5-Forge under it. Go ahead and hover over this and click on that green play button. You're going to get this warning saying you're about to play mod in Minecraft. You know that. You're adding furniture because it's a mod. You want that mod. You know what you're doing because you're watching this video. We're walking you through it all. You understand. You're good to go. Go ahead and click that little checkbox and click play. Now it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.16.5 with Forge installed. Obviously, though, you're not going to have furniture. We have to open up Minecraft with Forge in order to add the furniture mod. However, from this point on, it's pretty easy. So if you've made it to this point, you're pretty much home sailing from here. It should work without much of any issues. So anyway, we're just kind of sitting back at this point, waiting for Minecraft 1.16.5 with Forge to open. Obviously, there's no denying. Forge is installed. We have all this extra stuff on the screen that you normally wouldn't have when Minecraft's opening. Talking about all the back-end stuff that's happening down here in the bottom left and all that stuff. It's actually kind of cool if you like sit and like watch through some of that stuff, like everything it's doing. But nevertheless, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. And once we're on the Minecraft main menu, it is very, very easy to install Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. All you've got to do is go to the mods button right here on the main menu and then click on open mods folder. So again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on mods and then click on open mods folder. When you open that, it's going to open up your mods folder. To install Mr. Crayfish's mod, all you need to do is drag and drop the furniture mod from your desktop into your mods folder right like that. It's that simple and that easy. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And it's never going to be here until we click done and then click quit game. Now we want to open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time it's so much easier to open up Forge though. Just either select the Forge profile you created or your Forge profile that was already there. As long as it has 1.16.5 dash Forge under it, you're good to go ahead and click on it and click play. This time you shouldn't get that warning saying you're playing mod in Minecraft because you've accepted it in the past. And now we'll see here. There it is. Furniture mod right there has been recognized. Now, just because a mod's recognized doesn't mean it's going to work, but spoiler alert, I've tested this already and I know it works, so we're good to go. Um, but as you can see, we are in 1.16.5 up here in the top left. I'll confirm that again once you get in game. And we'll jump into a quick single player world and I'll show you some of the furniture that you can actually get with the furniture mod. Because, uh, how do I say this? It's pretty awesome. It really is pretty awesome. So, yeah, that is what we're going to do. Wait for it. We're waiting for it. Are you ready? Wait, wait, waiting. Still waiting for the Minecraft main menu. Once we get there, there we are. We can go ahead and click on Mods. And there is Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. We can click Done there. Click into Single Player. I'm going to create a new world. And I'm going to call it Furniture Mod. And then we're going to go into Creative create new world. I'll see you once we are in this brand new world. So here we are in Minecraft. We go ahead and open up our inventory or our creative menu. We can go into furniture and here it is. There's a lot. Everything from spatulas that can actually be used as weapons apparently all the way down to kitchen sinks and then different countertop services and kitchen countertop services and all that. For example, if we search kitchen, we have so much different stuff. Let's go ahead and get an oak counter and we'll pair that oak counter with a... I want to find something a little... That, that would pair good with that, like a gray counter. And then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a dark gray oak uh, kitchen sink. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then we'll create a little little kitchen area here. So I'm thinking something like that, like a little cutting board sort of area. Sometimes you'll see that built in the countertops. And then we'll go kind of around the corner there. 
and then go on that side as well. I don't know, sure. And then we'll build it kind of out to here. And then we can build ourselves a nice island in the center of the kitchen. Something uh, kind of like that should work. And then if we wanted to make this a like real fancy house here, we can go ahead and put a second sink on the island. So for example, we could go ahead and put, ooh, we could put a double sink here and then on like right here in the island, maybe put that there. And then over here we would put in, do they have like a stove or an oven or do we have to use, yeah, we still have these furnaces for that. Not a big deal. We can put ourselves a blast furnace right there. And then one more thing. I forget if they have refrigerators or not. They do. Awesome. So we can go ahead and put a refrigerator. Hmm, where would it fit in this kitchen? Uh, we'll just, we'll just kind of shove it in right there. It's not the best in the world, but um, yeah, we'll just kind of put that in right there. So there you have it. That is how you can uh, make yourself a little kitchen with Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. We can also, you know, add in the quartz floor, for example. I'm just going, I'm going all in today, apparently. I don't know, I'm actually kind of enjoying doing this, so we're gonna go all in a little bit, add in our quartz floor. I think that'll be a good contrast to our um, to our darker colors on the cabinets and such. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how you can do this. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. Obviously, you can craft all these in survival as well, and they do have all their crafting recipes that are, I believe are listed on the mod page, but we're not here to do that. We are just here to, uh, to kind of just build a kitchen and creative because it's cool. That's kind of the only reason we're doing this, right? Just because it's cool. So that is how you can add furniture to Minecraft, though. So many people, I think, want more furniture in Minecraft. And I would love to see that come to vanilla Minecraft. But for now, we do have at least awesome mod authors like Mr. Crayfish who are willing to step in and say, you know what, Mojang? If you're not adding it in vanilla, we're going to go ahead and add a mod for it and give the community what they want. And there's a reason this has almost 20 million downloads after all, right? So there you go. There is you a, or there is you. There is a little kitchen. There is also, for example, cabinets. So if we wanted to go ahead and build the top of this, we could, right? We could actually go in here and build a top of the cabinet, right? Like so. I just gotta kind of get it, uh, get it up there real fast. So we could go ahead and put that there. And I believe, yeah, you can actually store things in these cabinets as well. So that's actually another cool feature. Can you store things in the fridge? Yeah, you can store things in the fridge. So not only is it a cool setup like that, it's overall just a really cool mod because it adds in extra storage and all sorts of awesome and fun stuff. So there you have it. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. There's also sofas, by the way. So this isn't this isn't everything. Like we can go ahead if we wanted to make a little living room setup over here. We could put down sofas. They connect. You've got coffee tables. For example, so we go ahead and get the Acacia coffee table, for example, throw that down, and these all connect, by the way, so now we've got a big coffee table there, and then, you know, so much different stuff, it's really, really cool, and yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of that, it, it is an awesome, awesome, awesome mod, and adds so much cool furniture, um, we've got even trampolines, okay, I've got, I've got to check this trampoline, now, hold on, hold on, is this, is this really going to work, like, if we put a trampoline down, obviously it's going to all connect, are we going to actually be able to like use it as a trampoline? I didn't know this was in the game, and I'm a little shook. We're going to see if we jump on it. Yes, this is actually a trampoline. So if we jump down, yeah, that is actually really cool. That is really cool. Awesome stuff. There you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy all the awesome stuff that you can now build with Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. If you do have any questions, again, let us know in the comment section down below. Come play with this on PlayDartBreakdownCraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.